Hi, my name is Dr. Annette Kutschippel from Endocrine Wellness. Today I'm going to talk about um, looking at the nutrients and also the herbs that are going to work synergistically together to give our body the best support for the best stress response. When I think about how we respond to stress and I think about all the different things that come into play, I kind of think about it like, you know, kind of supporting your little inner athlete and that little inner athlete, its job is to do the most amazing decathlon. And if you think about a decathlon, it's a lot of different challenges. You know, sometimes you have to jump, sometimes you're running a sprint, sometimes it's a longer run or you're throwing things. And that kind of sums up what we do with stress, how we have different stressors that come in. Some are emotional, some are, some are physical, some are environmental. There's a lot of different things that come at play, but how we respond you know, says a lot for our overall health, our overall vitality and well-being. So I wanted to think about, so what are the things that we would want to incorporate just very simply, you know, into whether it's in a supplement or into our diet? Well, one of the big ones when it comes to supporting that is going to be B vitamins. And I mean like all the B vitamins. Sometimes we get kind of focused on an isolated one, but they really all work synergistically together. So the B vitamins will be really important. We also need trace minerals. Trace minerals will support, you know, every gland in the body, supports the HP axis, and it just, it's really sets that kind of that foundation. The other big things that can come into play also with stress response, we want to talk about trace minerals, but there's also magnesium. And magnesium in particular has an influence within the liver, it has an influence with its action with cortisol and blood sugar and so forth. So we don't want to forget about that one. And probably one of the most important, uh, because it's stored in the adrenal glands in the body, is actually gonna be vitamin C. So if you will, we're kind of setting that these are our whole food nutrients that are really important as a foundation. But what works really well is the synergy that we get between the whole food nutrients and the appropriate herbs. And when we're looking at herbs, we wanna look at a specific action. So the actions that we look for when we're talking about an improved stress response, that better athlete, what have you, is gonna be the herbs that have the property or the action, what we call an adaptogen. So an adaptogen, and simply as you can kind of imagine the root word adapt, is how we adapt to our environment. And that, and that encases all the things that I just talked about. And then some adaptogens might highlight a little bit more for, say, you know, liver support. Some might be more for mood or focus and attention or, or even immune support. So we want to have those adaptogens. And really, when I think about it, they work better the longer, the longer we take them. One that gets a lot of press these days, of course, is ashwagandha. But there are other adaptogens that really shine when we're looking at the stress response. We could have schizandra. We could have eleuthero, you know, and then we look at the different properties of what of what we want from them. Rhodiola is a really cool one because it is both an adaptogen and it's also a tonic, and I'll talk about that in just a second. Those are some of the key ones, but even our immune um, modulating herbs, they will also support an improved stress response. So don't forget about echinacea, which can also improve, you know, the HP axis regulation. We also have astragalus as well. And there are more that we can talk about, but I just wanted to highlight some of the key ones that you can review or keep your eye out for. Now, we want to talk a little bit, just a little bit about a tonic because a tonic, uh, that action is more specific maybe to the gland. And what it, and I think about a tonic as something that strengthens. So it's kind of like doing, doing that work to get you ready for the race. You got to do the exercise. You got to do the strengthening. And then like the adaptogen, you can think about it as you, you know, you run the race or what have you. So the tonics, probably some of the most important ones are going to be licorice and romania and the reason i love them so much is because not only they have a property of being a tonic but when it comes to the adrenal glands they are also considered trophy restorative but we do have some of the other herbs such as rhodiola which is labeled as both a tonic and an adaptogen and then ashwagandha has some mild tonic properties as well but when you're looking to find the best support for that individual don't forget about the key nutrients that set the foundation and then look into the actions of the herbs. Look for the adaptogen that suits that person best and then also where the person maybe uh, needs a little bit more toning, right, or strengthening, make sure you add those herbs that are a tonic. So thank you for your time and I hope you learned just a little bit from me today. Thank you.